This is a suction cup, and in this video we are going to find out how strong this suction cup is, or rather, how strong air pressure is. If I push this suction cup on a sufficiently smooth surface, then I push out all the air inside. So no air is pushing from the inside out, only the outside air pushing on the cup. And we should really rather call this suction cup an under pressure cup. But let's stick with suction cup though. So just how strong is air pressure? To find out, I've attached a wire to our suction cup. I attach the cup, the suction cup to this beam here. And then on the other end of the wire, I'll put up this bucket. Then I will gently pour water in the bucket and see when the air pressure is not enough to sustain the weight of the bucket filled with water. Now, before I'm going to do the experiment, I'd like you to make an estimate of how much water I might pour in the bucket. And you might want to know that the diameter of the suction cup is 4.4 centimeters, and the mass of the bucket, the empty bucket, is 450 grams. So pause, think, and estimate. Let's see just how much water we can pour in the bucket. I filled this cylinder with 100 milliliters of water. Two hundred milliliters. Three hundred milliliters. Four hundred milliliters. Five hundred milliliters. Half a liter of water. This is taking way too long. I'm going to use a larger cylinder. I filled this cylinder with a liter of water. There's already half a liter of water in the bucket. Let's pour in some more. One and a half liters of water. liters of water. Three and a half liters of water. Four and a half liters of water. Five and a half liters of water. liters of water. <laughs> seven, seven and a half plus 400 milliliters is uh, six and a half, uh, 6.9 liters of water. And a lot of water splashed around. So it's, it's a big mess. Um, did your estimate come out right? I'm going to clean up this mess, but let's see uh, how we can do a calculation to find out just how much uh, water we might have poured in the bucket, theoretically. Pressure is defined as force per unit area. So the force on the suction cup is equal to the pressure times the area. And the suction cup is a circle, so you can calculate its 
surface area with pi r squared. And the radius is half the diameter. The diameter was 4.4 times 10 to the power of minus 2 meters, converting from centimeters. So the radius is 2.2 times 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. So the pressure, air pressure, is about 1 bar, which comes down to 10 to the power of 5 pascals. Let's first calculate the area. A equals pi times 2.2 times 10 to the power of minus 2 squared. So A equals 1.5 times 10 to the power of minus 3 square meters. The force then is 10 to the power of 5 multiplied by 1.5 times 10 to the power of minus 3, which is equal to 152 newtons. Now the mass then uh, is the force divided by the gravitational constant, which is 9.81. So 152 divided by 9.81 is 15.5 kilograms. And the water then will have a mass of 15.5 minus 450 grams of the bucket, which is 15 kilograms. So the bucket can hold 15 kilograms of water, which is equal to 15 liters. So I had to go back to my recording because I got a little bit confused. Uh, apparently I poured in uh, 6.9 liters of water in the bucket. Together with the mass of the bucket, which was 450 grams, that comes down to 7 kilos and 350 grams. Now our calculation showed that the bucket should have been able to, or the suction cup should have been able to support even more. How can that be? So why is it less? I'll show you why. This is a close-up of the suction cup. And if I pour more and more water in the bucket, you can see that the suction cup is deformed. And the area becomes smaller and smaller, so the air pressure is a little smaller on the cup. But more importantly, the cup deforms such that air can enter it. And then the air pressure inside will be equal to the air pressure outside. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got another video coming up about uh, air pressure. Uh, thank you for watching. See you. Bye-bye.